The Delhi High Court has asked the police to explain why two children had to die because water tanks fell in their school. One case has become the source of major political fighting and that case has also been handed over to the CBI but the other one seems almost forgotten. When TV visited five-year-old Ankit Kumar's house, they found another family that was now going back to their home in Bihar having withdrawn its other son from that school. It's a household that's waiting to escape. Ever since five-year-old Ankit fell into a septic tank and died in school, his mother Poonam can't bear the thought of living here anymore. She's already withdrawn Ankit's brother from his school and sent him back to Samastipur. And now she's urging her husband, a helper in a private company, to wrap up their life of the last 10 years and leave. Perhaps they opt for escaping as that's the only thing they can control. A subdivisional magistrate's inquiry into Ankit's death is yet to conclude and they resent that no one cares about them anymore, even though both sets of parents have the same complaint. <laughs> तो यही है कि वो अमीर है तो उसका मतलब ये है कि हर तरह की जांच हो रही है और इंसाफ के लिए उसके लिए लड़ा जा रहा है इनके पीछे कोई नहीं है यही लोग हैं गरीब है तो गरीब के साथ में तो कोई नहीं है Today that septic tank into which Ankit fell is covered but even now teachers are unable to explain how a 5 year old in such a small school where all the children were out during break time was able to fall in and went undetected for two hours. What's been the impact of this tragedy? Well, the new school building, which has been under construction for the last one year, what teachers say, the pace of work on that has considerably increased since Ankit's death. While Devansh's parents have dedicated themselves to fighting it out legally, Ankit's mother is coming to terms with the fact that just two months ago, she had a tubectomy telling herself two sons were just perfect and she didn't want any more. She still doesn't know what the future holds, but she's turned down the Anganwadi job, her local MLA offered in the cruel city, which gave and then snatched away her son. In New Delhi, Sunitra Chaudhary for NDTV.